Hi, I'm Liz Stedden. Let's have a look at doing some forecasting and predictions for time series. So here is our CI starter and what we've got here is there are three different things that we want to take note of in the key, the legend we've got up there. So the black line, and you can't, it's quite harder to see, is the raw data itself. The green line that's mostly covering the top of it is our predicted values using a model. So the computer has gone away and created a model and then it's drawn that data over the top. And lastly at the end we've got this red section which is the prediction. So that's predicting after the last time period that the data exists. So what we want to do is we want to, we're just going to be focusing on this end section here. And you'll notice that there's a red line that goes through the middle and that comes up with the middle or the average prediction. Then around each of those points there is a shaded area. And so that shaded area talks about how much variation there is in the data. So at any point, so if I for example took a point that I want to predict there, actually there's a range and what we call a, a prediction interval of um, what we might expect to see. Okay, and so we never know for sure what we're going to have, but given how much variation is there in the, in the data, we can use that to come up with this range of values. And so the other piece of data, the other thing that we get out of NCGRAPHA is this table of predicted values. And it predicts for two years beyond the, the data itself. So this particular data set goes to the end of, to the end of 2018. And so that's why it started here in 2019, MO1, so that's the first month of the year. And it's done two years down to 2020, month 12, so that's our December. We have the predicted value, so that's the most likely, that's the best guess. That is the red, solid red line, the dark red line in that model. Then we have the minimum and the maximum, and that is the shaded areas going from whatever the lowest point is to the, the highest point and giving that range of values. So all I want to do is I want to choose one particular time period. So I'm going to choose the very last one there and I am going to write up and explain what that prediction is about. So I would say for 2020 in December that I predict there's going to be approximately 9.3 notice I'm rounding this, um, million square kilometres of sea ice at that time of year. However, it could be anywhere between 5.5 .5 million square kilometres and 12.9 million square kilometres. And that's what I am writing there. So I'm identifying the point thing that this is only an estimate, so that's why I'm giving this prediction interval. Um, but I'm using it first of all to make an approximation, a point estimate we call that.